Young America Films, constantly blamed for their own disadvantages by Boomer America Films. Bicycle Safety? They didn't even bother to actually title the short, they just named it after the short genre? Oh god, is this a Friedberg and Seltzer spoof? Oh, my mistake, it seems to be Alice Hitchcock Presents. What can compare with the thrill of a brand new bike? Such thrill. The days of wishing and waiting are finally over, and the proud new owner can look forward to enjoying his bike in many ways. Well, the one way, but you know. For bicycling is a healthy, active sport, enjoyed by almost everyone. Except those party-pooping paraplegics. Vigorous outdoor exercise, but it means quick, easy transportation to and from school. Wait, I'm homeschooled. Where the hell am I going? It's a nice, fast way of getting from one place to another. Bike as fast as you want, kid. You'll never escape the boring narrator. And it may even be a means of earning money. You can sucker your bike into your MLM. You're taking a lot of responsibility in owning and riding a bicycle. For you are now an operator of a wheeled vehicle. Well, technically, the same way we YouTubers are technically comedians. You are the automobile driver of tomorrow. Automobile driver of tomorrow! Often turn out to be the best drivers. That's an excessive design for a bike. would think of flying an airplane that was not in perfect condition. He knows that his very life depends upon his plane, so he inspects it carefully before flying. Where the hell did I leave the keys? So you should check your vehicle, your bike, to see that everything is in good condition. If you don't know how to check your bike, get a bike mechanic to help you. Who am I kidding? This will never fly. Check to see that the handlebars, grips, and pedals are tight. Make your bike look like a rejected design from our real monsters. Vroom, vroom. Adjust the seat so that your knee is slightly bent when the pedal is all the way down. Then stand motionless for several seconds. Be sure that the chain and sprocket are well guarded. In fact, just rebuild your bike from scratch each time. No check is complete unless spokes are tight. A spoke shouldn't spoke unless speaking to. Every bicycle should have a bell or horn for use as a warning signal. Or just scream at the top of your lungs. If your bicycle is to be ridden at night, it should have a headlight which is visible for at least 500 feet. And make sure it's bright enough to blind every motorist who crosses your path. And it should have a tail light or at least an approved reflector. Be sure to check your reflector with reflector approval appraisal. And finally, your bike must have good brakes. Come on, big your money, big money! Depend on it several times a day. Jerry Mathers the as the beaver. Bike in top condition is only the beginning. Cars, trucks, buses, and bicycles, all are vehicles. Yeah, close-up directed by Coleman Francis. Keep to the right side of the road or street. That side is for slowly moving vehicles. Really milking that slowly moving identity, huh? When riding in a group, ride in single file at the extreme right of the roadway. Be sure to keep a safe distance behind the bike ahead of you. Wow, it really looks like they're biking all by themselves. Jim Henson could do anything. Before riding out of alleys or driveways... Check for product placement. Be sure the way is clear. The light is good. You have no fear, nor no one should. When crossing heavily traveled streets or highways, it's better to dismount and walk across with your bike. This precaution gives you a much better chance of avoiding the passing cars. Uwe Boll decided to mash up Frogger and Paperboy into a single film. Turning left at a busy intersection is a problem for the bicyclist. If he's Derek the Zoolander. The is to ride across the intersection and stop at the far right corner. Then, as soon as the light changes, turn and ride off in the new direction. You can't spell biking without almost spelling boring. Every bicyclist should know the proper hand signals and should... Up yours, Dillweed! ...or stopping. Be sure you know what the correct signals are in your community and use them at all times. Let's just follow this kid home in real time. It's not going to be less interesting than the rest of the short. Before turning left, be sure to look behind you. This will keep you from turning into the side of a passing automobile. Or the side of a beautiful house with a beautiful wife. Then make the turn with both hands on the handlebar. That means you, Flowbots. 
Even stops require signals while you're on the street. Okay, this is just for me, but the narrator sounds way too much like the guy who left Diane in the Cheers pilot. Your depth frightens me. Carry parcels or books in a basket or luggage carrier. You need both hands free for proper operation of your bike. Never carry anything which obstructs your view of the road. In these days, bicycle safety was the backbone of the American economy. Your bicycle was made to carry one person. Dan Fogelberg. Or is not only bad for the bike, it's downright dangerous. <laughs> At least they're not wearing hideous monkey masks. Never, never hitch a ride. Never redundantly state the same thing in text and voiceover. We throw this boy into the path of an automobile. This is illegal in most communities, and for good reason. But it's mandatory in Hill Valley. If you want to do tricks like these... Illusions, Michael! Street, stunting and racing should be done in vacant lots or protected areas, away from pedestrians and traffic. So, you said you were going to show us some tricks, or... Too much speed makes your bike harder to control. Only use downers to control your bike. Riding down a steep hill. Meanwhile, in Pottersville... When riding at night, be sure to wear light-colored clothing so motorists can see you more easily. Make it easier for the creepy perverts who come out at night to film you from the car. Park your bike in a safe, proper place, standing upright. This is better for your bicycle, and it keeps people from stumbling over it in the dark. There! Right on top of Mom's flower bed! A lock on your bicycle is good protection against thieves. Be even better if you locked it to something, but... There's more to safe bicycle riding than just remembering the rules. You must be alert. This young Whoa! Man we almost had to give him a biking funeral. He's in danger. Because he's unconscious. No, seriously unconscious. He's been in a coma for five years and he's just been dreaming about biking. Learn to be an alert bicycle rider. You'll find that it helps you to avoid accidents. Yeah, well, he's constantly looking both ways. He rams headfirst into a wall in front of him. <laughs> so are these those tricks we were supposed to see? ...is asking for trouble. He confuses the motorist. Yeah, but the existence of turn signals confuses most motorists. Star Wars wipe, a Star Wars wipe. You'll know what these riders are doing wrong. Uh, not wearing helmets? Which is true of every biker you've shown us? What's wrong with the way this cyclist signals for a left turn? Uh, she forgot to tighten her spokes. Do you think the parents of this boy would be proud of the way he's learned to ride his new bike? Well, sure. No hands is impressive, no matter who you are. Will this girl's mother be happy when she sees her coming home with the groceries? If she gets there... If she's not hunted down by the grocery Gestapo? Why is this young man likely to spend some time in the hospital soon? Because he has pancreatic cancer, you insensitive bastard. This is Johnny's dad coming home with the groceries. Wait, now there are characters in this thing? Ah, there's no indignance better than 50s educational film Dad Indignance. Humph! Humph! As a bicycle owner and rider, you have a responsibility to care for your bike properly. Feed your bike twice a day. It's your duty to obey the traffic rules, to be alert and quick-witted, to look out for the other fellow as well as for yourself. Yeah, looking out for the other fellow isn't exactly America's strong suit. As a good, safe bicyclist, you'll be respected by the people of your community. For you are proving to your friends... No, keep your hands on the handlebars! Hello, safe biker! Man, that kid is such a freaking square. Centron reminds you that the only truly safe bicycle is a dismantled bicycle. Good night, everybody.